Alright y'all, this is a 6.5 liter turbo diesel going to a 7.4 liter gasoline swap. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up uh, an AC compressor for a gasoline engine into the diesel wiring harness. Um, so to start off with, you've got a, uh, a fuse down here for the heater slash AC up at the top right there, 25 amp. And when I click the AC button, you can hear the relay cut on. That's the one that's sticking out. It's got two brown wires, a light green and a dark blue. So I know that's uh, all working. Now this video is really going to be for someone who has accidentally lost the wires and needs to refine them. Uh, but if you know where they're at, then that's even better. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Best piece of advice I can give you is to find the schematic for your electrical wiring. So this would be typical 94 or earlier air conditioning and heating system. And the part that I'm going to be focusing on is going to be the AC compressor clutch. And this would be the wiring coming out of it, obviously. Um, you've got the AC compressor clutch relay. That's the one that I was uh, hearing the click when I pushed the AC button. And you've got an AC compressor cycling switch. Now I know this is the correct schematic for me. I'm not sure why there isn't a low pressure switch and high pressure switch on this system. Um, because right here I've got the high pressure switch here and the low pressure switch is attached to the accumulator. So you can see the light green and the dark green wire coming out of it. And I've got light green and dark green coming out of that. So uh, to make a long story short, try not to ramble on too much, but I had a uh, about 10 plug connectors coming out of the wire harness. I cut them all out because I didn't need them. And I was uncoiling all the wires down here. And I discovered that this connector here, which I didn't realize went to the AC clutch on the diesel, the green wire was connected to this three, these three wires right here, this connector. One of them was connected to that. And then, of course, I lost the wires is what I meant earlier when I said that I lost the wires because I had just undone them down there. I didn't know which ones were which, and I had to kind of figure it out. So I'm not gonna talk a whole lot about what the switches actually do, how they turn on, why they turn on, and stuff like that. There's other videos explaining that on an AC system. I will, however, show you what the voltmeter reads when I test the wires, and I'll talk a little bit about what they do and why they turn on. I'm just not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on it. Uh, I guess we could start right here with the schematic. Uh, first of all, if you look at the compressor cycling switch, the dark green and light green wire, the one that's mounted to the accumulator, they both go up. The dark green is attached to these three wires down there like you saw on the truck. One goes to the AC compressor clutch, and uh, one of them goes over here to the AC controller, the module inside the cabin, and there's a pressure switch. That's what the dark green connects to. If we go over to the AC compressor clutch, the plug for the compressor, you've got two grounds, a diode, uh, two dark green wires connect to each other, and they connect to all of those green wires like I just showed you. And then, of course, you've got brown, brown, dark blue, and light green for the clutch relay. That's the one I showed you a second ago inside the uh, underneath the dash on the passenger side. So I guess we could jump right into it. Hopefully my car isn't too loud in the background. I've got to keep a... Uh, power running to the battery here and right now inside the truck the key is turned and the AC button is clicked um, when the AC button is off you shouldn't get power to any of the switches or plugs or wires or anything like that no power to it it should all be off um, so you can test that with the voltmeter positive ground that's fairly simple how to, uh, how to do something like that but um, so this here is my AC compressor these are the two plugs right here for the clutch. Uh, it engages and disengages at, uh, when I push the button inside the cabin, when, si uh, when the, there's pressure in the system, when everything's hooked up, that'll engage and disengage. And so my plug for it is right here. I've got a green wire and a black wire. One's positive, one's negative. I've got the splice right here. That's not going to be how I, uh, how I keep it. I'm going to go th back and, and you know make it official, make it all legit and everything. Uh, but this is how I'm going to test it for you. So right now, there's no pressure in the system, which means that the low pressure switch is not engaged right now. It's kind of a, a dry system, if you will. I should be getting no power 
to the connector and I could show you this would be the ground I'll show you my voltmeter up there I've got a ground and I've got the positive connected and you see there's no power on the voltmeter uh, whatsoever so that's working like it should So, like I said, this is the low pressure switch, or cycling switch here. This green wire right here is going to be a positive wire. So I can touch uh, my red lead right there, and I'm going to touch a ground. You see the voltmeter goes up to 12.6. Now the green wire is going to be dead right now. Um, it's not, I don't think it's positive or negative. The way that that works is that um, it completes a circuit when the switch is engaged. So I shouldn't be getting, uh, well actually, okay. I guess that would be negative then. Sorry about that. All right, so that's negative right there and I'm touching a, a hot wire right there. Oh, never mind. No, there shouldn't be any power coming from that. That's, that should be a dead wire. Okay, yeah, yeah. This green wire is gonna be a negative uh, wire. Okay, so I've got a, uh, a hot wire control panel up here. I'm not really sure what you call it. It's, uh, it's wired for a diesel. I'm not sure if gasoline is like that also. These are all hot wires right here. They're all positive. And so when I touch the negative wire to the green wire, and then the hot wires up here, I get a positive uh, voltage reading on the voltmeter. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that happens right now because I know that this green wire is positive. Really, I guess I'd be completing the circuit or something. That's why I'd be reading. I'm not really sure exactly uh, why all that is. Anyways, um, so if I go to the green wire here and this green wire, I get 12.4. So I'm reading voltage out of that. And then uh, right now, this is a, a, a closed circuit, if you will, or it's, it's kind of dry. There's no pressure in the system. Um, if I go ahead and jump this terminal here and read that one more time you'll see that I have zero voltage so that would be uh, these two wires complete a circuit when the pressure is pushing against it like I said it's a low pressure switch so if there's no pressure in the system, then you'll be getting voltage. And that will actually cut the AC clutch off. So if I unplug that and test the AC clutch wires down here, I'll get no voltage. Those are for the AC clutch connector. Zero voltage out of that. And that's with the AC button turned on in the cabin. Now if I connect these again and jump the terminal, complete the circuit inside that switch, I can touch these wires on the connector and I'll get voltage. So that would be for this connector right here on the AC clutch and I'll show you how that engages and disengages in just a little bit. So I can show you a little bit about these wires here real quick. This three connector here, one green wire goes directly to the PCM like I showed you on the schematic. This one here runs to this diode, which is connected to the clutch connector. And then the third one comes up to the low pressure switch. So right now, with this terminal jumped, it's as if there's pressure in the system. Like I said before, this is completing a circuit. It would be as if this is plugged in and there's a, a refrigerant in the system, there's pressurized, everything is running like it should, the AC button is on, the key's turned, and what I can do is I can take this connector here, which is connected to uh, you know, those wires there, connected to the diode, connected to all the others, and the AC clutch engages and disengages, just like it should. It would be uh, you know, normally plugged in. And what I could do, ah uh, well, just lost my jumper. 
So I can show you real quick. This wire is jumped. The plug is connected into the compressor. If I unplug this, watch the clutch. It disengages. I can't do it with one hand, but if I were to jump that again, oh, there you go, it engaged again. And I'm just undoing that with one hand. So this is how it's supposed to be wired. Of course, there should be refrigerant in the system, there should be pressure, and you know that should be plugged in. Uh, but if anyone ever, hopefully this will help one person at least, you know, hopefully it helps somebody figure this out. This is how the diesel wiring is. Like I said before, I'll show you one more time, the light green wire goes down into the harness. One green wire goes down to the PCM. Green wire up to the switch. Another green wire to the diode. Ground to the diode. This black wire is the ground. And then of course the two wires come out and go to the connector which is connected to the uh, AC compressor clutch. And when this is mounted, there's a belt on it, refrigerant in the system, pressure, everything. It will work exactly like the, uh, you know, it should, you know, factory intended on a diesel engine. And of course, I'm swapping it over to a gasoline engine, so it should work exactly the same way. Uh, like I said, hopefully that helps somebody. If somebody wants to see a picture of the schematic again, I can upload that maybe. Um, and like I said, hopefully that helps somebody. Figure all that out. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'd be happy to come out here and show you again when it's all, you know, not everything's technically hooked up yet. Uh, one thing I should mention real quick, never accidentally touch these two wires together, the positive and the negative, when I have them out like that. Technically, there's a diode in the system right here. It should only let electricity flow in one direction, but I've got other stuff out here that shouldn't be touching. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and undo this real quick and, and probably tape it together and, and put butt connectors on it and kind of do it, you know, somewhat in a in, you know correct way or whatever. Um, so like I said, let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, not sure if this is even going to get very many views because I know nobody is swapping diesels to gas. It's not really a common thing. But if you ever happen to lose your AC wires on a 88 to 94 truck, this is how it's wired on a, a Chevy uh, K, CK series. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching.